Hey, uh, so let's get started. I hope this won't be clipping out. Dial it down a little bit, like a little bit more. Uh, let's just turn this microphone a bit down. Like this. Okay, this seems like it should be enough. Yeah, so uh, yesterday's stream got cancelled because it was too late and my parents wanted to go to sleep. Yeah, I still live with my parents because I'm 15. What are you expecting? <laughs> and so I'll try to uh, like redo it today. I know this is, is this isn't the uh, like right time uh, to do this live stream because a lot of people are asleep. Because it's like 10:30 a.m. here, and it's like a standard work day, but I have holiday. So, anyways, <coughs> today we'll be building, or I'll be building the AD Euclid, uh, my Euclidean sequencer, like a rhythm sequencer or figure sequencer. Is a better name for it, and this is something like a premiere because the, the PCBs came yesterday and I have no idea if there are any issues with them or not so we'll see how it goes I have prepared all the parts and also the front panel kind of sucks uh, because it is like handmade and uh, I don't really have a uh, like easy way to make front panels right now and I can switch this and close this door okay uh, so yeah this camera is like amazing quality <coughs> uh, so yeah let's get started so uh, I'm gonna switch this over to here and I'm gonna show you the PCBs this camera also has like awesome quality I'm not gonna lie so awesome so right now uh, the PCBs come like this like together and you have to split uh, separate them but you just like put it on the table and like press like this you can see the flexing in, even when I push them and like push on them just a little bit so it's quite easy to break them apart and when you break them apart you've got like these two PCBs and they go onto each other like this so you make like a like kind of a sandwich I wanted to use better connections between those two boards but it won't fit so I have to use the crappy ones but that, that doesn't really matter another thing that I noticed yesterday is that these two jacks let me switch to the microscope so you can like at least see what I'm doing with this camera it's like so bad and focus it if it's possible Uh, so these two jacks are a little bit too close so the jacks don't really fit very nicely so you have to kind of push them in and uh, like put it in the front panel and then solder it so that will be like kind of complicated but I think it should be doable I'll, I'd like test fit all of the front panels so they fit but you'll see how this goes this is like the first time that I'm building this module and I have four more PCBs I have no more jacks but you can order them at Mac modules uh, at gmail.com M A C H M O D U L E S at gmail.com like this mark modules <coughs> at gmail.com yeah so send me an email and we can work it out <coughs> okay so uh I guess we should begin so the thir the first thing, this is the back board, we can work on that later. The first thing that I'm guessing we'll do is we'll put in those uh, chips. And right now I don't have any correct uh, 
like sockets to hold them in so I'll use these uh, 8 pin ones instead of 16 pin ones like two, two in a row so let's put that in okay, I'm gonna turn this board around and just test fit these and yesterday I got an idea I idea that I could like put in the chip bef before I solder it so they hold together nicely so I'll try that if I can even put it in okay so let's try it I'm gonna hold it in with my finger on like uh, let's put in the other chip so it uh, gets held in by gravity gravity so like it's leveled and it holds and it and it holds in on its own okay let's put in the other chip okay now just so, just so you know that this is quite this should be easy to build uh, all the parts are THD <coughs> there is no SMD stuff so everything is through how <coughs> and I'm not using that microscope I'm not looking through it it's only there so you can see it better okay let's solder these chips in Also black on black solder mask for the bin. This will be boring. Because I'll be quiet a lot of the times. So I don't really know what to say. By the way, everything is open source. And if it's not open source, then it will soon be like this module. So you can build it yourself. This module is uh, like made to be as easy as possible. So as little as little parts, because I'm like quite lazy and I don't want to put in too many parts now some of you might be saying that this could have fit on one board and yeah I agree with you but the thing is that I wanted to make it THD so it's easier to uh, put together if you buy it like as a kit So that's why everything is THT and it is double layer as well as my clock divider. If you want my clock divider that also has logic inputs, like when you unplug the clock input it, ch it switches to logic mode and you've got some logic gates, you've got AND, or XOR, NAND, NOR, XNOR and then two NOT gates that just... Uh, uh, that just like negate, negate, what do you call it? Negate, negate, ah, I have no idea. Uh, this signal <coughs> that is coming into A and B. So eight logic gates in total. And <coughs> also what, what it can do is it can divide by standard numbers or it can divide by uh, it can also divide by prim prime numbers. Uh, I think it goes up to like one kilohertz or two kilohertz. Okay, this seems okay. Let's put in the other. Let's put in the last chip. 
uh, what it can so it can divide by standard numbers or prime or prime numbers prime numbers <coughs> also it can uh, act as a gate or trigger a divider also you can change if you want it to react react to the rising edge only or to the falling and rising edge edges so it's like for example like when you're using as a, using it as a k divider you might want you uh, you'll want it to be reacting to both gate uh, both edges so it's like it for for example like the divide by 2 it turns it off uh, it turns off the output with the second uh, like rising edge I think yeah because it counts up to 2 so it's like first rising edge uh, turns it on falls nothing then rises again and that's like again to pull the again like a th thing that changes the uh, state of the output but when you're using it using it as a trigger you want it to react only for the only to the rising uh, edge but with my clock divider you can select it, you can select whatever you want <coughs> Okay, uh, next up, I think that sh this should be f quite fast actually to build, <coughs> uh, we can do all the resistors, now these resistors are written 2k, but I realize that 2k might be too bright, so I'll, I'll be using uh, 10k everywhere, except here, here is written 1k and those are UV LEDs, you don't have to worry about that because they are not strong enough, but uh, I want them to be like a bit more powerful. So let's start with these resistors. So they'll come like this. Uh, they'll come like this packaged and what is written up here. Now the mounting sh solution that I made for them is you bend one leg over them, over them, like over the body, so it goes, so both legs go in the same direction, so they are like standing, <coughs> uh, so like if I want to demo demonstrate it, you've got a resistor like this, and you bend one leg, like this, around itself, so I have the resistor like this. And you've got to do that with all the resistors for the top uh, PCB. Not the bottom one. The bottom one has a standard <coughs> uh, le uh, like standard resistor that are laying flat. But this is just to save space. And I don't want to use those crappy small ones that Bustle Instruments uses. Because I don't like... like I don't like the fact that they are so small. Also, I don't have the buttons uh, that are supposed to be there yet. I'm waiting for those to come. So we won't be putting them in today. Okay, so let's start on these bottom ones. Also, I realized that uh, I haven't written the values to these resistors. When you but basically you can see this circle around it and that is for the resistor body so you put in like this and like this uh, so the resistors are like this now a lot of people like to bend the legs on the other side so they don't fall out but with this solution that they are like standing up uh, because there is like tension on the legs when they get pushed together by those holes, they actually hold in uh, quite easily and on their own. 
so you can see that they are in if I shake it and stuff they are still in so that fixes one issue I uh, lost this lost and then found this resistor okay so I'm gonna bend this leg also yeah this uh, if you're watching if you're not watching it live which is no one doing no one is watching this live but it doesn't really matter this is a live stream so just like you can see in it you can see uh, how it goes in real time how is this oh this is seems okay let's sort of adjust the bottom legs and then we'll do the top one top legs Just make sure that you don't make too big of a mess with the with so, with that solder. Uh, and yeah, where are my clippers? You know, my clippers. Uh, because there are, if you make too big of a mess, then uh, the jacks might not fit because it's quite close. Like I was struggling to fit all the stuff on this PCB. Because there need to be these chips up here uh, that like make it possible to use all of those outputs. Those are shift registers, so I won't have to route so many tra so many like uh, traces to the back side or to the bottom PCB. Because right now I think it's about 30. Or something. I don't remember. Okay, I messed this up. Uh, but it doesn't matter because I will cut it off. Yeah, you can see that I messed this thing off. It's like pretty much solder. But what you can do is you can just clip it right there and then use a little bit of flux if you have it or if you don't have it you can put in more solder and I hope this works because sometimes it doesn't put in more solder and then try to like get off the solder yeah like that and just flatten out the flatten out the spike so you can see that now it is like kind of okay Let's clip all of these legs. Now, I'm not expecting you, like, if you're building this, and thank you a lot for buying my module. If you want to build it, send me an email at uh, macmodules uh, at gmail.com. I'm trying to set up a, a web page as well, but. I don't know about that, that might take a while. Okay, let's do all these resistors. So, if you're building this, uh, then <coughs> uh, I'm not expecting you to like follow along because I'm doing it quite quickly. So, I think. You should maybe like watch this before you build it and then remember the stuff that I said and that I will say. Also there is a possibility that this won't work at all because as I said this is the first time that I'm building this module. Okay, These resistors don't hold in quite well so I'll just bend the legs a little bit. I think I don't need to because it might be like hold, held in. Yeah, it seems like it will be held in with. Okay, it is. They are not being held in. So yeah, you have to bend the legs. Not that much, just a little bit. And the last resistor seems to be holding in. Holding in. Okay, 
let's solder these resistors in. resistor. I'm pretty sure I might be able to build this like in an hour or like hopefully less than two hours. And again I never built this module before. This is the first time I'm building this module. Sure this is the first time anyone is building this module. But that's because I just Got the PCBs in mail yesterday, not today as the thumbnail, thumbnail says, but that doesn't really matter. Okay, let's solder the second leg, or the second legs, I don't know if you can say that. Uh, those resistors. Also, if you have any issues with, like, that you maybe like ripped out a trace or something, which you should, which you don't have to be ashamed of, because I did it like six times or five times, and I was trying to desolder stuff. Uh, you can look up the schematics or PCBs on my GitHub that I think is in the description. Okay, more 2K resistors, aka 10K up here so let's put them in these are three tank resistors can I cut, it, cut it off I don't know if this is correct to do but what I like to do when you have like more resistors like this uh, is to just use scissors and cut it off because it's much faster than clippers although you might destroy your scissors with like by doing that so I'm gonna just bend the leads of those resistors around themselves so, I don't know. as you can tell English is not my main language although I would love it to be Put in the resistors. Resistors are in. And I bent the leads again, leads again a little bit, a little bit just so they don't fall out. Now the uh, I will probably solder in the display now and the display col color isn't the color that you'll be getting you'll be getting a uh, a different color and I can't remember what it is called let me let me see uh, in Czech language, it's called it, it is called Jantar. Let me look it up in Eng like what it's called in English. Cause I can't uh, remember. Amber, yeah, amber, and they like it's kind of reddish orange, but n not quite. Uh, so it's like kind of kind of soft for the eyes. Just post that I'm live. Okay, Open the chat. Nobody's watching. Hello, nobody. It's kind of soft for the uh, like to your eyes and stuff, but I don't I don't want to use the last uh, uh, last 
uh, display that I have with that color. So I will use a green one that I have. Okay, so we can install in now this thing because this. Uh, no, we can't. <coughs> Before that, we need to install the expander connector. So right here, and it goes like this, here, and now you might be wondering, what the heck, this is the top board, what are you going to do about it? Well, you might have noticed that the top board has a cutout for it, so like, when you put it on, and you take off the mask that it's, that's, that's on it, uh, it will be opened like this. And I hope the cable will fit. If it doesn't fit, that we'll have to uh, make the hole bigger and move stuff. But I'll see. But I won't probably see today because I don't have the cables needed for it yet. We'll s I'll see how many uh, orders will I get, and even if I get any. And if I do get any, then uh, I'll get the cables and get all the stuff that I need. Also, I've run out of donkey guns. How cool is that? God damn it. Gotta love that. Gotta love when that happens. So this is for the mute expander that I have right next to me. I'll show it to you in a minute. And holy crap, we're live for 27 minutes already and I haven't done much. Okay, wait a minute. You go check out Olin, you have to write Olin modular, not just Olin. And he, has some really, he has some really nice music. And he was... Yeah, or like I asked him and he kindly allowed me to use his music in my live stream. So now, now I don't have any problems with copyright stuff. Because a lot of my, uh, like a lot of uh, the older recordings of my mod of my uh, live streams uh, got like taken down because of copyright laws uh, copyright laws laws law, rights copyrights, I don't know so I'm happy that I can play something okay it seems that I can put in the not yet still something left uh, we gotta put in the pin headers for the back bags uh, like for the bottom board for some reason these holes don't have like a outline but that doesn't matter uh, you know what I'm gonna actually put in the other connectors like on the other side of them not completely but just a little bit on so I can use the bottom board to make them straight when I solder them in. Now I wanted to use those different pins, but uh, as I said, they are not tall enough. But they are used in my clock divider and they are cool. I hope I haven't done the same mistake as I did with the uh, clock divider where I flipped the connector 
upside down on one board. Because that's like, uh, I have to, I would have to, shut up. I would have to order new PCBs. Okay, now I need to make this straight, so try to make it like this. Okay, now it seems like it's straight. Actually, I'm kind of enjoying this. I don't really like soldering THT stuff because it takes a bit more time than SMD. And SMD isn't even that harder. But I'm actually kind of enjoying this. <coughs> okay, I've got this. Uh, hold then, and I hope I don't run out of solder. Like I have backups, but I'm not gonna go for them. Ouch, it fucking splashed solder on me. Yeah, the camera on this microscope is kind of kind of strange because it like is out of focus on the sides. Okay, let's do the other side. You can buy this thing as a kit or built. I'm gonna sleep these pin headers actually on. One reason being that they are quite hard to take off. The second reason is that they can stay on. <laughs> now, uh, I can see one problem that might be uh, this button right here and as I said I won't be putting out putting in those buttons because I don't have them <coughs> but uh, I'm pretty sure you can like uh, get in from the sides uh, with your know, sorting iron so that shouldn't be that big of an issue maybe you could uh, like make those uh, soldering those buttons before Okay, uh, how is my... It's all good. Now it seems the, like the only thing that needs to be put in are those LEDs and uh, buttons and jacks and the encoder and the display. So let's put in the display because the display uh, doesn't really depend on the front panel like the other stuff does. Can't fit it in. Yeah, the holes are kind of small, but it fits because I tested it yesterday. If it will fit, so you just have to push it in. Maybe some legs will be bent. If they are, then I'm really sorry. Okay, let's measure how tall is it. If it's sub 10 millimeters then we're okay if it's not then we are screwed 9.7 that seems okay <coughs> but it is really close <coughs> okay the uh, the uh, display isn't really that straight on like isn't really that straight Right, but that doesn't matter at all. You won't see it. Okay, now what I what I like to do is switch to this camera and 
Okay, I will hold. Okay, this will be a little bit complicated. Uh, increase the exposure of this camera. So I'll hold the uh, display in like this with my finger and then I'll pick up some solder on the tip of my soldering iron and I'll just make a bad solder joint like that and now it's being held in one corner let's do the other corner as well if I can More, more solar. Okay, it is in. So now I can solder in the rest. So let's switch. Uh, let's set this camera back to how it was. Exposure is eight. This goes a bit higher. And microscope. Now soldering the rest. I have a bit too much solar here. I'll try to get it off. Uh, one thing that you can do is you can like, heat it up and then um, bang the PCB on the table and it will fall off. <coughs> so check those solder joints because the pads are kind of small. But they all seem alright. If, if like some segments or some ditches don't work, then it's because you probably soldered them wrong. So just check the solder. Which is, just check the solder points or these solder joints. I don't know. When you're soldering these things, make sure that you pre uh, make sure that you heat up these pads as well, and just look at the pads to see if so if that solder is on them as well and not only. Okay, a lot of solder again, but I'll fix that. If the solder is as well on that uh, as well on the leg. Oh, that is on the leg and the pad. So let's heat it up and get it off. Bang, banging on the table and bang. Okay, it is off. And I just squished a hot pearl of solder with my finger. How cool is that? Okay, these solder joints seem okay, and I won't be bothering to cut them because it's not even that necessary. So this should be everything that you can do without the front panel. And now comes the hard part: put in the <coughs> all of these parts. So we'll start up with these ultraviolet LEDs. Put them in like this. This one goes in as well. Now, as I already said this, but I'll say it again. These LEDs can't really harm you. Or at least that's what I found on the internet. Uh, because they are not powerful enough. So hopefully you'll be okay. I'm using them, I've been using them for quite some time and nothing happened. Like I don't know, I don't really feel like they are damaging my eyes or anything. So yeah, put in all these jacks now. 
you should see that there are that they are like really tight but they do fit <coughs> okay uh, let's put in this uh, wait a minute I'll be right back Okay, I'm back. <coughs> Microscope. Okay, let's, this check goes in. Although I don't know where I made the mistake with those top jacks because I thought I uh, copied the exact same co coordinates. So with these top jacks, I would recommend that you put in the middle ones first because they are kind of a hassle to put in because they don't fit so you can see that they are kind of bent and stuff so you have to like bend them back into place but uh, they'll kind of hold in if you like bend the leads a little bit they will eventually be holding like they will eventually hold in okay uh, maybe try to put them in simultaneously or we'll see what this does it should be okay and now put in these side ones and this check okay now the LEDs okay I don't know uh, how or uh, which way they should be oriented but I know that the right side that like this side uh, let me take a better pointing device my pen uh, so this side is the one that will show you which channel is selected so I think I'll make that red and I also don't know which side of this LED is red that's cool because I'll put it in somehow you can see that like there are three LEDs uh, three leads and one of them is shorter than the second side one so I'll put the shorter one into this hole and see what happens okay uh, let's do it for all of these let's put them in just like that put this one in Oh, shit. And this last one then goes the second uh, quadruplet. I don't know. No, it's not called quadruplet. The heck? Uh, what the freak? Yeah, so put in all these LEDs. The latency on this camera isn't really that bad as it usually is. That's great. Okay, so this is in. Now the encoder goes in. Okay, encoder is on, and these LEDs 
I'll be using green at least. Just no, jade green at least, just because I want. But uh, like if you want different colors, you can tell me. I have quite a lot of LEDs right now because they are really cheap on AliExpress. Yeah, I'm all, yeah, I'm ordering stuff from AliExpress. And who cares? The stuff is the same quality, not all the time, but often is. So I don't really care. Hey, let's put on the front panel and see how the stuff fits. So first of all, pick it up. So the you probably won't see this part because I'll have to pick it up. Uh, <coughs> so pick it up. So the LED. So all of those LEDs fall in. And now comes the hard part. Getting the front panel on. But I managed to get it got it, get it on yesterday. Okay, the top row is almost on. Just press this and push it in, okay. I need to work on these front panels. I need to f figure out a way to make them better. It seems to be going in. <coughs> yeah, this is hard just, because it is like not precisely drilled. I'll try to get a CNC or something. This check doesn't seem that it wants to go in really. Okay, it is in. Nice. Now I just need to push them completely through so I can put on the nuts. Oh, also, uh, just like look at the LEDs so you don't bend them when you put in, when you put in the front panel on. Okay, uh, I'll just screw in a few uh, jacks just so it doesn't fall out and I can hold it down. Also, uh, one thing that you might, might that you might notice is that my front panel is bent and that's because I ex uh, think I left like uh, the hot glue gun or something on it and uh, it heated up and bent so I'll hold the front panel on with nuts and I'll tighten them down quite a lot so so it doesn't pop off Oh, wait a minute, I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. That was my dad. He wants me to edit, on a, uh, edit a program uh, for a thing that he's doing, but I don't have time, so he's angry. How cool is that? <coughs> Hello, zero people. How are you doing? Okay, I'm just gonna tighten these nuts here. Okay, this should be tight enough. Okay, this seems like it might work. Put in. Uh, I can do that later. The encoder popped out. Let's get those leads back into those holes. I mean holes. Okay, encoder is in. The encoder is that uh, encoder is kind of small. I'm not gonna lie. The nut will not go through, but that doesn't matter. So yeah, we've got we've got the jacks in. We've got the jacks held in. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the LEDs. I've got the LEDs uh, like that, <laughs> the LEDs. So I'll push them into the recording holes like that. And then we'll solder everything. Okay. Okay, so this is an, uh, the top LEDs will go in as well. And now I can solder in the rest of this stuff. Okay, so let's solder in these top LEDs. These LEDs are now in. Got some solder in the encoder. Now I know I've got the hole for the display a little bit too low, but that doesn't really matter as it would be as it will be visible through the. Uh, through the paper anyways yeah I just print out my designs on paper and then I stick them on to the uh, like on the back of the front panel 
because it because it is transparent it's quite easy to do so I don't burn my fingers. Let's take a bit more solder. I'm just soldering in those LEDs. Why? So, 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 Okay, some people are saying that the oh shit uh, uh, okay I'm sorry but I shared the wrong link uh, so I'll be just sending in sending out new links uh, fuck I messed this up because I think I shared like the I sent the uh, the shut up uh, I sent the link to the live stream but it seems like YouTube changes my links <coughs> nobody's here two likes who liked it I don't know Heck, it gives me option to subscribe to myself. Uh, share. Copy link. And now I'll send it to everyone. Stop. A new link. And now send it to everyone. God damn it. I thought you YouTube won't change the link. But I guess it did. This is fucking stupid. Now on to Facebook. Uh, okay. <coughs> Open up Facebook. Edit post. You 
your brother like sympathizers in them. Now yesterday uh, sort by activity. Okay here it is. Edit post. Join me here, new link. Paste and save. Okay. <coughs> it is updated. Let's continue. I can't really stop because of the recording. Uh, somebody texted me. Okay, so they are not going to watch it because they don't have time. And this camera froze up. Why? Everything's falling apart again. Deactivate. Activate. Okay, it is running. Okay, back up. Oh, I can see I forgot these one kid resistors, but it doesn't really matter because I can fit them in. Okay, let's not in those jacks then. Just check if those yeah those jacks are complete then because some sometimes they like to pop out, like this LED just did. What that sound? Okay, so in those jacks. LEDs. Let's take those one K resistors and cut them. And put them in. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get them in. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. So yeah, always check if you have all the resistors in before you start sol soldering in those jacks. Hello, nobody. How's it going again? Good to see you again. I saw you like I don't know yesterday. Should <laughs> not yesterday. Oliver was here. Okay, now the one thing that uh, is kind of kind of dumb about the fact that I didn't put in the resistors is that I now have to put them in from the top and not from the bottom because I can't, uh, there is no way I'll be soldering them from like from the bottom side or from the side where the front panel is so I need to cut the legs to, to length and just get it in somehow okay and it is in nice and it is out again 
God damn it. Uh. <sighs> Grab it by the top and not by the body so I can take out my tweezers. I'm just gonna solder in those resistors. Those resistors are only for the LEDs, so it doesn't really matter if you put like a bigger or smaller volume. volume. But like if you don't put them in, they just won't work. But like the rest of the module will work. So if you don't want an LED to blink, you don't have to put in your resistor and it won't blink. Or you don't have to put in the whole LED, I guess. Surprisingly, those resistors fit. but barely like there is less than a millimeter of space between them between the resistor and the jack and I and it seems that I'm coming coming down with a cold soldering with my left hand. Let's see how it goes. Oh, not too bad. Still nobody. <clears throat> okay, cut those leads. Cut those leads. Really get my uh, snippers in there, but now I can. Okay, let's soldering the rest of the jacks and LEDs.
objects are in now the LEDs. LED Cut those leads You might have to uh, like bend uh, some of those resistors to get uh, to your uh, like um, like to get to uh, the leads so you can cut them. But as long as you don't bend them too many times, you should be okay, and they shouldn't fall off. Okay, and that should be the top part done. So, yeah, yeah, this is the top part. This is the part, top part done. Now we move on to the bottom part. So we grab the second PCB and start again. Okay, let's start with the Arduino because it's quite annoying to put on. Yeah, so the issue with this Arduino is that like these pins here and also these pins are kind of moved a little bit. So you have to align the Arduino like this. And also one thing that I wanted to do is I wanted to put on a double-sided sticky tape. A 
like in the place of <coughs> the okay I messed this up a little bit but not that much uh, like so the Arduino is held in with that big no, I know that I stuck it over these pads but I'll take my exacto knife and I'll cut them out <laughs> pretty sure like when you order the kit you'll get it with the double sided sticky tape prepared on it so you can just like put on the Arduino or I can solder the Arduino in for you also it's good to have a multimeter so you can just check all the connections the Arduino is connected to everything. I'm trying to move on to a different like type of processors but it's quite hard. Okay let's take off the protective film. And try to get it on. Okay, so this goes on like this, and then this goes on like this. Uh, a little bit off to the side, so like you you don't have to solder these spins in. The ones on the right side. So like that seems okay, and push it down. And now the Arduino is stuck down. And this is not the correct way to do it because it moved. So let's slide it a bit down. A little bit more. Just so these things align nicely. As well as these things and these things don't have to. Actually, I think I messed this part up. Yeah, because you have to solder in one of these things, uh, this ground. That's dumb, so uh, let's fix that. Let's scrape off a little bit of the solder mask. Uh, so you can solder in this ground, because this is the programming part. So when you want to update the firmware on it, you use that. So what we're going to do is, first of all, I'll zoom in. even a little bit up even a bit more a bit higher okay, maybe a little bit lower okay a little bit lower let's put here okay can focus like this and move it down. So you can see that there is okay this part right here. And I have to look through the microscope to see this. Now I'm just gonna scrape here. I'll, of course I'll do this for you so you don't have to. So I'll like prepare it. Scrape off, scrape off the black solder mask. Okay, this 
should be. And I'm just gonna focus it so I can see it better. Uh, let's move the microscope a little bit down. I like that. <laughs> it's better. Just gonna scrape off the rest of this paint right here. clean now let's just solder this to that pad just like make a bridge with solder we're gonna put okay like this just connected these two things together now this is really small so you, like you can see how small this is so there shouldn't be any issues you can see like my finger is this big next to it let's focus the camera okay like this seems okay okay so uh, now so how you solder this thing so you put the uh, soldering iron on this pad like this, so you don't cover the whole pad, and then you just feel it solder. You make a nice blob. Okay, let's do that for all of these. Now you might need to keep it on the pad for a little bit longer, just so you can see that like the solder pops out from here. And that should be okay. So try to remember that time that it takes for the solder to pop down there, pop up down there, and how much solder you need, because this is the only side that it, that has visible pads. All of those others, like all these other sides, uh, are covered completely. But this side isn't. And then it would be nice uh, like to measure if everything is connected together with a multimeter. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Solder it on. I'm gonna show you how to do it. So now just like hold it on it, try to open <coughs> the hole a little bit and just feed it some solder and see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then you can just add apply more heat or add more solder. you know what should be connected to where what should be connected to what okay I'm gonna open up eagle 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 is already running why did I open it again okay and I'm gonna open up the right screen Said right. Said right. Okay. Uh, nope. Okay. Close this. I don't want it. I don't need it. I already have it. Uh, close. Yeah. So now. Uh, okay. So 
the these are the let's flip the board uh, okay no actually it looks like this yeah so we can see that nothing is connected to here and to here but this should be connected to ground and down so select the eye tool called show and click on the pad uh, try to click on the pad maybe disable the silk screen because there is that logo uh, on it so I think it's in T I think it's in yeah it is in names okay uh, show and digital two should be going to the third right okay so so let's test it let's get get my multimeter And set it just like uh, set it on the connection test mode. I don't know. I don't know how you call it. The one where it beeps when you short out the connections or the connectors. And let's measure it. So switch out the microscope. So D2. So this. This thing is like has the letters 2 next to it. Can't really see it, but it's there. I can see it with my eyes. So. <clears throat> okay, it's uh, one and a half hours live. <coughs> so, 2. Should be going to the third, and yeah, okay, this is connected. I'm not gonna show you the eagle, so I don't have to switch all of those scenes. Uh, but basically, I'll just uh, check those bottom, check every pin. The, the digital three should be going to the right uh, one from bottom. So three. Uh, let me actually switch to this camera. So it's more easy to see. easier to see. So digital three or just pin three should be connected to the second. And it is four is connected to four from bottom left one. So four. It is connected. Five. Uh, five is connected to the fifth one. So what you can also do is, I just remember that there are the, the pin names are written on the connector itself in Ingle. And if you have any issues, just text me. Uh, just send me an email, I'll help you out. Six should be connected to right above it. Right here. Seven, right above it. Uh, seven is connected. Eight, right above it. It's connected. Nine, right above it. Ten, right above it. Eleven and twelve, right above it as well. And we can see that 11 is not connected because there isn't supposed to be 11 there is, there is supposed to be digital 14 also called a zero and it is and the top one should be ground and it is so that's the left side checked now let's look at the right side so the right side the top side the top pin should be ground so let's check it is gnd the second one from top should be plus five volts that means vcc and it is the third one should be led power and we'll check that later next one is d19 that means uh, the digital pin 13 and then the a pins <coughs> are uh, just standard pins 
so you can count them like center pin. So A0 is 14, A1 is 15, and this should be 19. That is A5, and we forgot to solder on A5 and A4. So let's do that real quick. Open up microscope and see these are analog 4 and 5, also called 18 and 19. So let's solder them on. We heat the bed and put some solder in. And don't leave that big of a mess on it. That big of a solder ball. Do the same with for the unlock 4. Put it in, keep it in. Okay. That should be everything. Now let's check if it's connected. This nasty chunk. So it should be 19 here. That means A5. Or A4, A5. And we can see that it is not connected. My multimeter still works. It is not connected. So if you check it like this, it is not connected. So what do you do in this situation? Well, you heat the pad a bit more. And add a bit more solder to it. And try again. So let's see again. Uh, this and here. Still not connected. God damn it. Let's add a little bit more of solder then. Okay, and it seems still to be flowing down into the hole. Okay, let's see now. You know what, let's actually like use all of my solder on this. Because I have just a tiny bit left. Uh, okay. <coughs> I hope it is now connected, because I used quite a lot of solder on it. And it still isn't. God damn it. The great thing is that it also isn't shorted to anything. So let's check this PCB design if there isn't any mistake there. Uh, there is. God damn it. Uh, so I flipped those around. Uh, so A4 is called B19 because I'm a moron. And I flipped it around. But we'll find that A4 also isn't connected to it. So, we're gonna... Uh, first of all, fix the uh, schematic. Yeah, I can see that I flipped it. So, let's change the names. Uh, name. This is the 19. This is the 18. Yeah, as I said, uh, you'll see all the mistakes that I did. The 18. Uh, yes. And let's flip. Let's flip them around on here as well. So yeah, there is the 18, that needs to be the 19, and the 19, that needs to be the 18. I know that you can't see it, but reason isn't really important. Yes. And now it should all be okay. If I save it. Okay, and now check this. Uh, two air wires left. What's up with that? Hopefully nothing, as I checked before I, uh, I ordered it. Ordered, yeah. I'll check that later. So yeah. Uh, so this should be now s 
connected co like fitting correctly yeah the here is now the 18 and 19 okay let's check if the eight uh, if the 19 is connected so that's the fifth from the top that's this one uh, I think no nope, it's this one that's the fifth from the bottom not top it is not connected why okay what the fuck uh oh yeah i looked at it wrong it's the uh, one above it okay so this one is connected yeah so that's correct and a4 wasn't connected before so it shouldn't be connected now it is connected okay so we've got these pins working and they are, might be flipped in the code but i can just change that real quick that doesn't really matter but yeah that's what I, that's why i built the first module myself and we haven't checked the rest of the that board uh, so the 19 this goes here here we are and to a6 so now this thing should be a6 a6 isn't called 20 and a7 isn't called 21 because they are only analog pins and not digital so let's try this this should be a6 uh, here should be a6 actually and it, there is a7 should be this and it is it is connected uh, finish the line Yes, yes, should be D17. That means three, A3 or A2, A3, I think. Uh, let's see. Can't seem to get a great connection. It is connected. A2, uh, D16. So A2 should be connected uh, to to below. A1. Now D2. Okay, A1 should be the bottom most, it is, now the 3 is there, and the 2, uh, what the heck was that, D2, I thought D2, oh, there it is, okay. Okay, so this is all connected, that's really good. Okay, uh, now let's solder, solder on this converter. Uh, so you can see that there is a arrow on here. You might actually switch to microscope, it should be better. Uh, oh, chat, nobody's watching, whatever. Okay, so he, here we can see this arrow, and the same arrow you can can be seen on here. So if you flip it around, round is on this side here, and you can see that if I focus it correctly, Uh, which I'm not, which it seems that I'm not capable of. Okay, focus this. Okay, so you can see this arrow, and you need to align those arrows and put it on here like this, and solder it as well. Now I designed this footprint myself. Uh, so it, sh I hope it fits. I tested it on paper and it seems to fit. Okay, uh, let's use a bit of sticky tape or double-sided tape. I don't know. Uh, like that. And just put it in the middle. We don't need much. I probably like write a arrow on here just so you can align it properly. 
Now take off the protective film. Film is off and we can put in put on the converter, check the arrows that they are correctly aligned. They are going in the same direction. So just align it and then press on it so it sits flat. Okay. This should fit. So let's take my solder. I have used up all of my solder. Take my solder and just put in like enough. So this should be enough. But we can see that no solder popped on popped out on the bottom. So let's hold it there for a little bit longer. Add a little bit more solder. Maybe try to add a little bit more solder down here. Okay, I can see some solder going through now. And it is on the other side. Nice. Let's do the top one. There is, I can see it going out from the side. Now the same thing goes uh, to the other side. Okay, this was faster. Let's try it again. And it is down here, down there as well. Okay, so this is on. And that's all of the uh, SMD stuff. Now we can put on the regulator. So how should it be aligned like this? So I'm gonna take my uh, tweezers and just bend it, bend the legs with them in the correct spot. <coughs> there actually should have been like a uh, exposed uh, solder. solder. But I feel like it's okay, like this. Okay, bad solder connection. And now we'll fix them and make the rest of it as well. You can solder it from the top or from the bottom, it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, and I'm gonna solder here. I'll actually like solder it, solder it from both sides, just so it looks nice. Okay, and snip those legs off. Okay, so this is the regulator on. Yeah, you have two power supplies. One of them is just for the shift registers, uh, so you can like regulate the power going to the um, uh, to the LEDs. Okay, we can now put in the diode. That is way too big. Again, I'm gonna use my tweezers like this and bend it with those tweezers but you don't really have to do it I'm just I just like it so I so I do it like that so I'm gonna bend those legs over the edges and I'm gonna put in 
these things put it in the hole and push it in like that nice nice and neat now solder it just straight in the legs so it can be soldered on is e more easily and put it on like as I said the LEDs are way too big uh, or the diodes are way too big but it doesn't really matter I have space there is enough space for it also check the orient orientation of this uh, of that diode I put it on correctly nice so let's solder this stuff on now let's start with those Zener diodes now be careful with them as they tend to break uh, if you bend them too close so I'm just gonna use my pliers again or my tweezers and just bend it over the edge This. I know you can't see it. I know that nobody isn't watching it anyways. But I'll still be streaming. Nobody's going to stop me. It actually makes sense because nobody's watching me. And that isn't going to stop me. So basically nobody's going to stop me. Put it in. Fits quite nice though. You can put in more stuff before we solder it. Uh, let's put in those 10k resistors. I'll pre-bend them like be, uh, because they are together right now so I can bend them quite easily like that and snip those legs off make it much shorter also one thing you might have noticed that I'm using stereo jacks and you can most, you can use both the mono and stereo right in, like in this uh, module but in some of my modules for example the clock divider you have to use a stereo jack at least for the uh, clock clock input because i'm using the second channel to uh, check if there is a jack connected to it Basically, like when you connect a mono jack to a stereo plug, uh, it grounds the other channel. And I'm use and the Arduino is checking if the if that channel is grounded or not. So we, so it can then decide what to do with that module, if it should be acting as logic or as uh, or as the uh, clock divider. Okay, snip those legs. Okay, this one isn't soldered in proper, properly. I'll fix that. Snipping those legs. Okay. Now the four hundred seventy ohm resistors go in.
I don't know why, why I prepared th uh, three resistors when I only need two of them. Okay, solder them on. Now let's put in these capacitors. <coughs> hey, I might actually be able to finish it <coughs> before we uh, like in two hours. So that would be a completely built module in two hours. It's the first time that I'm building this module. I never built it before. Although I am um, quite skilled in soldering because I, I've been soldering for almost 10 years now. Maybe it is actually 10 years. Because I'm 15 now. And I think the first thing that I soldered together was something. I don't know what it was, but I think I was 5. Cut these legs off. Now I'll solder the power connector on. So this goes on. This thing. Maybe tell me in the comments uh, if I should uh, make a video about the clock divider, like building the clock divider. Okay, now let's take this. I think this is all. Let me just check this PCB visual. Yeah, this is all. Now just this thing goes on. So yeah, let's uh, put in the front panel. And I'll just uh, shorten the pin headers that I put on because they are they might be getting in the way of the <coughs> uh, so if you've got a pin header and it ends like this you can just uh, snip it off with your uh, cutters wire cutters or I don't know how you call it uh, just so it doesn't get in the way of the expander connector Okay, put it back on. One hour, fifty-six minutes. And I'll be done, like, in a few minutes. Now I know this part is out of focus. But it doesn't really matter, it's just me soldering the pin headers. Uh on the B on the BCB. I should have maybe measured how much so uh solder I used. 
so I know approximately how much I should maybe like give it or I don't know if I should send it with sol solder probably not it's better to make like give people the freedom of choice and my hands are shaking like crazy side and we'll see if this module works okay uh, so this is the module and it's done and now comes the hardest part so I'm gonna take off the bottom part and just try to let me switch this camera uh, I'm a little bit stressed because I hope it works <coughs> so if I plug in my uh, power bootleg power supply Okay, this will get really dark and I don't want that. Let me take a different power supply real quick. <coughs> okay, from here. Yeah, I'm running my modules off of a 12 volt power supply, the Chinese type, <coughs> because it is cheap. Let's try it. So if I plug it in now, <coughs> this doesn't take any negative voltage. Okay. Arduino runs. That's good. And now the last step before you power on this module, I'll I'll try to like do it for you but check it please check this so uh, <coughs> when you take the there is this converter and you have to set a voltage on it so set it to 3 volts so now the output voltage on it is how much Nothing really. Seems like it's minus two volts. What the heck? Uh, what? I think I might have swapped them around actually. Yeah, I might have. Yeah, I swapped around the, re the leads. And it is getting. No, the leads aren't swapped. 12 volts is going in, and I'm getting 2 volts out of it. So I want to set it to 3 volts. Turn it a little bit and measure. I'll try to hold it with one hand, but I'm not sure if I'll succeed. This part is a little bit tricky. So now no voltage is coming out of it right now. Let's try to adjust it. Uh, I'm struggling like to turn it let's get a bigger screwdriver tip mm, this one should be 
better. It is not better. Let's switch the old one. what the heck I don't know why there isn't any voltage coming out of this <coughs> no. so I'm <coughs> sorry <coughs> Myslím, že není. Okay, hi. Uh, somebody's watching. Hello there. Yeah, I'm just trying to set the voltage on this regulator. But it seems like it is not working properly. And this screwdriver is too big. And I'm not sure if I have anything smaller. I have. It seems to be, or it appears to me, that this converter is dead. So what I'll do instead is I'll bridge the output voltage of, uh, or the output of this uh, regulator <coughs> to the output of this, so I don't have to uh, struggle, keep struggling with this. Because there are uh, resistors anyways in there, so uh, where is it? Yeah, it is right above each other. Uh, so yeah, that's <coughs> why like, what happens if I short it? Short these two. Uh, nothing seems to happen. So yeah, let's do it. Uh, where is my solder? Here is my solder. These two just connect I'm just gonna connect them together. I'll fix it again so like you don't have to do any any of this stuff. So now there should be five volts on the output. Uh there isn't. 
why. Here is 12. Here is 12 and here is... Here is 5 volts. So this means here should be so 5 volts. Oh, I actually bridged together the wrong wires. Yeah, I see it now. I have the board flipped around. Let's see now what happens when I short them together. Oh, it's these two. Nothing. Okay. Are you still here? Welcome to my channel. Right now, this is your private private show. Hope you enjoy it. Now there should be five volts on this output, and there is. Okay, so this is this, this is this, and now I think I should be able to just put it together, and it should work. So let's see. Unplug the power. Put it together. This. <coughs> it's quite hard to put them together. And plug the power back in. Okay, this this is not good. There is something wrong, but let me take out these um, shift registers and see if if it is okay. Then ouch! Fucking destroyed. I destroyed this chip, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so now the bottom at least should be working. Okay, the encoder is working. knob so I can use it better oh yeah put it way too down way too low but it, this doesn't seem like it is working properly. Okay, I'll unplug this. Remove this regular uh, this like DC to DC converter. Try to lift up one side of this board. Put 
God damn it. Well, I thought this would be easier. Apparently, it isn't. use the exact knife because it's thinner Good. It seems like it is off from this side, but it is actually not. Okay, now it is off. care if I destroy it. Hey, but the BCB survi survived it. That's good. Let's try it one more time. Let's see if anything changed. Uh, okay, this goes to here. Plug this plugs into here. We still seem to be having issues with the uh, code button. <laughs> Try to press it uh, like short out the is 
somebody's still here. Or it is broken. One of those things. Maybe you can write it in the chat if like so I know <laughs> it is not broken. God damn it. God Let's check the button where it is supposed to go. Uh, okay, so this is the encoder switch. It's supposed to go here into here and the 15. Okay, so it is supposed to be the bottom one. And let me put on one of these extenders so I don't have to hold the multimeter. Yeah, I have like the thing that's the thing that you put on the end of the multimeter and then you can like clip it on pins or like uh, plug, plug uh, the pin headers into it so let's try round goes to ground here But it looks so nice when I put it together. I thought it might work right away. And it doesn't. Sad. So now this should be connected. Now it should be connected. If ground is even connected together, oh, yeah, I have to switch it like this. Okay, disconnected and inside the Arduino let's see if the yeah uh, I I didn't put the Arduino on the back side of that PCB because it would cover the uh, because it would cover the uh, the logo and I think that might have been, might have been a bad idea. This is connected. So it should be connected. If I solder it to A1. and mesh ground so, uh, let's check the software that's on it this Euclid revision one uh, opened uh, go to button 15 it is a one what do you want from what do you want from me Maybe check 
the crown that is on the Arduino. Although uh, I think 19 and 18 are f swapped. Just latch and just gonna turn on screen capture. So in the lock five. Yes, right. That's S clock. So that's D nineteen. Uh okay, clock is nineteen. Latch is seventeen. And data is sixteen. And this is kinda uh Swapped around. So latch is seventeen. Clock is nineteen. And data is sixteen. Coder button is fifteen. And it has a pull-up resistor on it. So let's upload the Edited, edited code on this. Okay, take the programmer. Uh, unplug the multimeter. Uh, take this programmer. <coughs> and plug it in. One time when I plugged in my module. I just like blue my PC just died. Good that this is uh, like that I can reprogram this so easily. Okay, let's see if this works. Think of the switch 15, D3, and D2. Some kind of NB. I think I should be now able to, uh, or I should try to put in the. Uh, I should register for these, uh, for the jacks and the j LEDs above those jacks.
see. This seems to work. Uh, let's see if this works then. Because this seems prom promising. Let's just desolder this thing. <coughs> Although the encoder is kinda strange. Sometimes. And it is moved by one. think how is it connected Q A Q B Q C right to in binary is Right, like, let's just try if all the LEDs works. Fuck, my nose is fucking bleeding again. Yeah, I have some something strange, some shit on my nose. And I just uh, fucking rub it off. Fuck. Which one is it? Uh, this one. Hi, you're still here. How's it going? should be now uploaded yeah I have the, those pins were like swapped around and stuff okay the, the LEDs don't work of the display but that should be fine I'll just test if it works and that will be the end of this live stream yeah I know you can't see it but you can at least hear me so I'll just because I don't have the cameras prepared for that that and uh, and I don't really want to move them right now. Okay, so this is the module, and there should be one long cable. There is no. Those red LEDs are like really strong, so I'm glad that I put uh, 10k resistors in there instead of 2k. Let's try it. So clock, I'm plugging the clock.
uh, the blue LEDs are, are much dimmer. Maybe I s maybe I swap those shift registers in the code. So uh, if I take the output of this and I plug it in here, will I get? I don't get anything. Okay, this seems to be like quite an issue. So I think what I'll do is I'll turn the stream live stream off and I'll try to fix it. So yeah, uh, thanks for being here and uh, see you later.